Hi everybody, welcome again to this channel. I hope you now understand more Swahili words, phrases and sentences, or at least you have learned one or two things, the new things about Swahili that you are not aware of in the beginning. You are all welcome and today we are going to look at Swahili words with no plural. This in Swahili is known as NN noun class, Karibuni sana. Here is a list of Swahili words with no plural that are in noun class NN. One is nchi, which means country or countries. Siku can be day or days, uh, according on how you use it in Swahili. Nyumba is a house or houses. Wiki means week or weeks. Simu is phone or phones. Sa means watch or clock or watches or clocks. Kazi is job and can also be jobs. Dakika is minute or minute. Piki piki is motorcycle or motorcycles. Radio is radio. Shule is school or schools and torch. Torchy is torch or torches. Others are office, office which means office or offices. Karatasi can be paper or papers. Computer is computer or computers in plural. Nguo is clothes and clothes. Feather uh, or hela or pesa, they all mean the same in Swahili, which means money or monies. But the most, the common used word for money in Tanzania are feather and hela. Pesa are rarely used. Uh, almost uh, uh, less than 10 percent. Idara is department or departments. Wizara is ministry or ministries. Sabuni is soap or soaps and nyota means star or stars. So here we have uh, examples of Swahili words with no plural on how they are used in a sentences. Number one, you have nchi or country. Nchi yangu or nchi zangu. Nchi yangu is one country. Nchi zangu is more than one country. Nchi yangu means my country and nchi zangu means my countries. Nyumba is a house and nyumba moja is one and nyumba zote is plural is more than one so nyumba moja is one house nyumba zote is all houses so you may see here nyumba is it doesn't change it's all nyumba on both sides singular and plural but when you translate it the way you talk it means one can understand if it is singular or plural so nyumba moja is one house nyumba zote is all houses but the noun nyumba does not change Simu is phone. He simu haifanyi kazi. Or his simu hazifanyi kazi. He simu haifanyi kazi means this phone is not working. His simu hazifanyi kazi. These phones are not working. So the only thing that determine if the word is singular or plural, it is the uh, prefix or the uh, a word before the noun sim. So if you say he, it means one, his is more than one. So his can be this and he is this. We are continuing with the list of Swahili words with no plural and we have another word kazi meaning job. Nina kazi moja or nina kazi mbili. They are all kazi but the meaning is different depending on how you use it. So, ninakazi moja means I have one job. Ninakazi mbili means I have two jobs. In English, job and jobs are different. For two is jobs uh, with a S at the end, but one job is just job. But in Swahili, they don't change. Kazi does not change. 
pikipiki is motorcycle hii pikipiki or hizi pikipiki hii pikipiki means this motorcycle hizi pikipiki means these motorcycles shule or school shule the word shule is used mainly in, in Tanzania mainland and in Zanzibar shule is known as school the name school is coming from school from the english word school so shule iko mbali or shule ziko mbali it means shule iko mbali the school is far shule ziko mbali schools are far so here the word is ziko uh, determines th that shule is not singular it is plural and iko is for one school office office or office office yangu is one office zangu is more than one and the translation for this is my office office yangu is my office office zangu is my offices computer or computer moja or computer tano computer moja is one computer computer tano is five computers one is moja and tano is five in english siku o day can be day a day or days siku moja ya wiki o siku saba za wiki siku moja ya wiki is one day of the week siku saba za wiki means seven days of the week so in english we have day and days but in swahili we have siku and siku for single wiki or week wiki moja or wiki mbili wiki moja is one week wiki mbili is two weeks wiki is week moja is one two is mbili saa means saa or it means watch or clock nina saa moja or nina saa mbili in english it means i have one watch or i have two watches Nina saa moja I have one watch. Nina saa mbili I have two watches. Dakika or a minute can be dakika moja or dakika sitini. Dakika moja is one minute. Dakika sitini is 60 minutes. Dakika is minute. Moja is one. Sitini is 60. Radio is radio radio ya Tanzania o radio za Tanzania Tanzania's radio o Tanzania's radios Tochi means a torch Tochi yangu o tochi zangu In English is tochi yangu means my torch and tochi zangu is my torches Karatasi is a paper karatasi pana o karatasi karatasi pana o karatasi pana it is the same as white paper and white papers so this is a because karatasi karatasi pana in swahili is all the same in english and swahili so the only in singular and plural so the only way to know if it is one karatasi or more is to see because it is all the same karatasi pana karatasi pana so karatasi pana it can be white paper or white papers karatasi is paper. feather or hela meaning money hela yangu or feathers za uma hela yangu is my money and feather za uma is public money so the word feather is only used as plural the way you, you when you say za it means plural but it does not change you you can you when you when you talk about finance uh, personal finance is always hela but for the public or government the word feather is mostly used idara is department 
e, we have here idara ya ustawi wa jamii o idara za serikali idara ya ustawi wa jamii is social welfare department social welfare is ustawi wa jamii and idara za serikali is government department serikali is government wizara is ministry wizara ya afya o wizara mbalimbali wizara ya afya is ministry of health and wizara mbalimbali is different ministries sabuni is soap sabuni ya kufua o sabuni za kufua sabuni ya kufua is washing soap and sabuni za kufua is washing soaps nyota means star nyota inangaa o nyota zinangaa nyota inangaa means the star is shining and nyota zinangaa means stars are shining that is the end of today's session thank you for being with us